Hey guys, Engram here and welcome to the first Let's Play that I'm recording for um, our website, The Sims 4 Guru. So um, we're going to be looking at the Outdoor Retreat game pack. Hopefully everyone's familiar with Buster. Uh, some people think he's just a generic sim. No, he was made by um, my lovely offsider and the website owner, so the boss, um, Althea Quinn, also known as Thea. Um, and Buster's going to go camping. Now, um, to let's just get that all underway. Um, how about, let's have a look at the cat's assets. Um, Buster, you're going to be a girl for a moment. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Okay. Um, or lady, rather. Let's have a look. Uh, head. Uh, let's have a look at the cases. Let's start with hair. So, um, right. I think I'm going to have to filter because I've already been through this. So I've got all the... Okay. Um, so, we've got this hair. This rather pretty hair. This is just beautiful. Oh, actually, no, not that one. That one. This one, I really like this one. Um, yeah, let me just zoom out a bit. I really like that one. And this one's really cute as well. Mm. Little pigtails at the back or buns or whatever the heck you want to call them. Um, hats. Again, filter. Alrighty. Um, mm. Three new hats. So... There's that one that's got the jackalope on it. There's also some with, um, you know, other patterns on them. There is uh, this one here that's got, you know, the meshing on the back and that sort of thing. And a slightly more elegant hat as well. Take off the hat. Uh, I don't think there's any new accessories. Not that I remember. Nope, no new accessories. I don't think there's any new makeup items either. So... That's about it, um, yeah, um, for the hair. I'm just trying to kind of speed through this, otherwise it just becomes entirely too long. And I'm just pretty keen to just get on with things. So, um, again, let's filter it down. So, we've got this jacket here, the lovely sexy lumberjack top, the whatever, you know, sleeveless top, or cap sleeves. They're not quite cap sleeves, um, I think, yeah, and it's got that camping sign on it too. Oh, what did I just do? Control Z. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. Um, yeah. Oh. Okay, um, then there's also the loose t-shirt in several colours. They're all solids. And then you've got the puffy vest with the um, with the cap sl sleeves t-shirt underneath. Um, I do rather like that. Okay, um, it's got some, yeah, some rather nice colours on it. Uh, for the bottoms, for the ladies, uh, we have um, some shorts, some cut-off shorts, some normal length denim shorts rolled up, um, some kind of cargo-ish shorts and cargo pants. I actually really rather like this. I used to have pants like this actually in more beige than mm. that. Um, kind of like, you know, a proper beigey colour, like, you know, really light brown. So, yeah, um, I actually used to own a pair of these. Um, I don't know, probably not embarrassed to admit. Mm. I actually rather enjoyed them at the time. Okay, um, so what we have is the bear costume. And we've got this and how is this different I don't know I have no idea how these two are different um, I'm not really seeing much difference here other than probably this provides just more colors or something because um, seriously both of them have the oh, okay this one's got the trees this one's got the camping sign okay so that's the outfits Ooh. for the ladies. Uh, here we go. Um, new pair of socks. And um, for the shoes, there are actually some really nice shoes. And um, there's quite a few shoes as well. As you can see here, we've got mm -hmm. these ones. The nice high 
heeled boots. These are beautiful. I love these. Um, there's these sort of, you know, variety of hiking boots and sandal type things. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much that. Speeding right along. Um, let's go right back. Buster needs to be a boy again. Okay. Um, for the men, um, we've got two new hairstyles, kind of, you know, the long rugged lumberjack and short hair, which we will let him keep. Um, facial hair. There is no new facial hair. There we go. Um, hats. Same, the jackalope um, cap and the, you know, it's not going to work. Um, no and no for the makeup. So that's pretty much it in terms of t-shirts or just tops. We've got the jacket that's got some sort of a sideways Wi-Fi symbol fallen over. Mm. I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All of them have, have that sort of thing. Um, that sort of, yeah. Th this... Um, Sleeveless top comes in a variety of stripes, solids, mm. and ombre. Um, we've got these, um, all oh. of them with that pattern. Um, then we've got the um, this vest. I can never remember whether that's called a crab or a pitten, so I'm not even going to pretend. Uh, initially, I thought this was. Um, yeah, it tells you just uh, what I'm like, but basically, I kept Ooh. thinking that this symbol here, um, that's a man rowing, um, no, looking, um, sort of at it again, yeah, that's a sign above a mountain. Uh, good on me for having absolutely zero idea, and then there's this top in a bunch of colours, some of them kind of more neon-y fluoro than others. Pants, um, we have the rolled up narrow cargo weird look. Um, I don't know, don't particularly like that sort of thing, particularly as it, um, you know, cargo pants should be nice and wide. This just looks wrong. Um, you know, mm. there's quite a few color choices on all of these as well. Um, and then you've oh. got the short cargo shorts long cargo pants sort of with that cut off there where you can you know was this real life he would be able to actually zip off um and then for the full body unfortunately there's only the bare suit so what are we going to put you in um we'll put you in cargos um oh. yeah it's kind of i don't know maybe just my monitor i don't particularly like that color gray that's like a weird burgundy. Let's just put you in those off-white ones. And for the tops, I was hoping mm. they'd be mm, some sort of like a normal short sleeve thing. What are we going to put you in? That. Um, no. We're going camping. And yeah, let him wear his oh, normal ooh. regular green. In accessories, you've only, we've only got the socks. You can wear the socks. Uh, not with the sandals though. So, um, yeah, I forgot to point that out. The ladies also have these, um, the what I call the barefoot running shoes. I think that's actually what they are called. A friend of mine uses those uh, when she goes running. So, yeah, these are the shoes for the men. Actually, curious, will this go over? No, it goes under. Oh. Okay, so he can have uh, hiking boots. There we go. Looking rugged there, Buster. So that's pretty much that. Quickly um, change some of his personality. There is a new aspiration in nature called Our Outdoor Enthusiast. Um, like the rest of the nature ones, um, he gets oh. the collector bonus trait. Now, creative, mm -hmm. outgoing and music lover. Let's give him a different sort of trait. There's new traits, um, if I can find them. Um, the squeamish. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be really good. Um, I think that'll pretty much do us. Um, should be outgoing so he can make people creative. Mm. 
Let's make him outdoorsy. He's going to love the outdoors, but be a bit squeamish about it. So, lifestyle. Oh, he can't love the outdoors because he's squeamish. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, in that case, you're going to be childish. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's just do that. Um, so, it's I haven't really seen much about the expansion. Um, I mean, or rather the game pack. Um, bu -bu -bu. I can't spell retreat one. Um, oh, outdoor oh. retreat rather. Called the that's, that'll be the name of the household. Okay, save and play. Let's just place him somewhere. You can't, from what I know, can't live in the in Granite Falls, so we are going to stick him as per usual in Potter Splay. I'll try and do this as quickly as possible so we can just get on with things, um, so we get at least, you know, get to set up the campground. But yeah, I've just seen very little about the game pack. I've been trying to keep my s to myself so that I would be able to just explore it um, right um, okay let's grab Buster's house Buster's pad here we go Buster's pad oh of course um, Let's just save the lot to my library again. Need to forgot. Need to go into build mode, and then I can suck it down. Okay. Here we go. Let's get it furnished. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind that it's going to change the lot. Okay. He's only got two grand left. Um, nobody saw that. Okay. Um, so here we go. He's got a house, um, and he wants to go on vacation. Doesn't have a job or anything like that. So nothing to hold him here. Uh, what is it? Travel. Let's go. Go on vacation. Hmm. Easy as that. Yeah, the reason I know how to do that, even though I've kept away from news of this, is that previously I tried to recording a video uh, with Buster and um, his um, female offsider Sky, um, and yeah, it just wasn't working out for me trying to chase two sims, so I've decided to re-record this whole thing. So we are going to go to the campground, uh, and can always go home early so let's just go for seven days for now as I'm going through as I'm exploring a bit more um, I'll probably either get him you know depending on really literally I have no idea how much there is to do in this game pack so um, because quite literally with Buster and Sky on my previous attempt at playing this all I did was set up the campground um, so and they didn't even go or do anything so I'm not really sure how much there is to do in here I haven't really watched anybody else's let's plays or anything like that okay um, yep yeah, that's the toilets so yeah this is kind of that central area where we saw on the map if we just have a look at that again sort of where the jackalope is um, so yeah my sims there we're not going to travel oh I always do this nope <laughs> um, and just kind of off to the side here um, where's Buster I don't know where is he I don't know he's around here somewhere um, there's a little sort of in this central area there's a this little booth where we can buy supplies we can also go back home like to the lodgings i.e. the campground in this case 
can go to the bathroom, which, as we've seen, was off to the right there. And I think he can probably go off to explore the woods um, and find out about camping. So we are buying supplies. Because we need somewhere to sleep and stuff to do. Um, he is all on his own lonesome, but I'll buy a few of each item just so that we can have a look at the new build buy stuff. Okay, um, from the looks of it, there's a bunch of mattresses here. Um, let's have a. Yeah, let's just go 10. Um, can I type? 10? No, I need to go one by one. 10. Um, cabin in a bag. That's pretty big. Um, but there is a smaller one. There's the small cooler, the Chillville portable cooler. I'm going to get him the big cooler. So, easy camper tent. Um, let's get one of those. That's 420. Let's re get his fishing thing. Um, a book on herbalism. A couple of lamps. Those are the new lamps, the light bringers. Um, and we'll get a, what's called a mega cooler. And, um, yeah, a bunch of onions. 9, 10, parsley, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10. Um, there's some folding tables, but we don't really... Don't really need those. Um, we've got some potatoes, we've got a campfire there. So, yeah, there's like a... That sort of camp, and then there's the camp. <laughs> campfire and there's this a uh, rocky kind of more rocky campfire sage is one of the base game ones let's get a guitar we're not going to get a violin um get a couple of chairs and these look really cute these little gordian spritz chairs they've got little patterns on them and then there's the Gordian Throne. Let's just get a couple of those, have a look at all of those. The Man Behind the Falls book, Mantis Wars. Um, which, the description just reminds me of um, a bunch of sci-fi movies. Uh, Night of the Moon Forgot to Shine. Yep, we'll take one of those. Let's get ten tomatoes. Um, let's get a gaming table. And I think what we'll do is we will get a where are they um we'll get two more of these and two more of these um so that we can put them all around the table okay so that's that he came from somewhere around here so the campground must be here somewhere oh there it is okay um so let's just pause this i'm gonna have to drag some things out of his inventory um, set up the playground and then we'll probably yeah I'm not going to do the place in world thing I'm going to drag it out and set it up myself so there we go there's his tent um, chairs yeah see we don't really need a table because there's already a table there um, we can put a like a lamp nearby um, okay. Put the guitar out. That's really cute. It's just got a little love camping sign on it. And, um, what else have we got? Got the gaming table. Put that there. Um, and we have a bunch of these chairs, so we'll just go one here. So cute. Okay, I think I got which one? That's another one. So put that in over here. Wolf. That's so cute. Those <laughs> are just. I love them. <gasps> so cute. Um. And um. Yeah, they seem to be able to be placed just about anywhere around the camp. Look at that. It's just the movements are just so fine on that. Like quarter tile kind of stuff. Uh, move that out a bit. 
Um, and then we've got the other chairs. So we'll go around and have a better look at them. Look at that, how close you can put them. Not that I want them that close. Um, grab that one there. Okay, um, put that one there. This one fairly close to it. Yeah, not right on top of each other because I know I've got more chairs. <laughs> um, we're hoping he makes a lot of friends. Um, and then we've got the other ones. So put one here and here. We may need to move them out. We want to make room for people being able to play guitar at, out here. But for the purposes of this, we've got just looking around is we've got these three chairs which are just absolutely gorgeous so cute um, we've got these just classic camping chairs and then the oops, slightly more luxurious ones over here so um, yeah just you know because we don't have build by here, I don't know what other colours they come in. This is about the extent of it. So I think what we'll do is kind of put a chair down here somewhere. Um, he needs his cooler out as well, so he's he's able to get food. So there, let's not block the entrance. The cool, this cooler, the more expensive cooler, is pretty cool actually. <laughs> the mega cooler, it's got. Um, you know those kind of you know temperature settings I have no idea if that does anything um, actually what we might do is move this no, no, no we don't want him to go here place in world no we've already dealt with the, that we'll put a yeah we'll put a lamp out there and we'll stick uh, the other lamp up on top here just in the center um, okay um, we'll move these chairs around a bit. There we go. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, Alright. This is our campground for now. Um, I don't think there's anything else that we need to place there. He's got somewhere to sleep, somewhere to eat, somewhere to play, some entertainment, cooking area. And I think we'll leave it there. Um, for now, um, looking forward to actually getting on with this. This is as far as I've got with this, even in my previous attempt uh, where I had the two Sims. So, yeah, looking forward to going on to going on this adventure with you. So, thanks for watching. Um, and if you enjoyed it, then please hit like subscribe to the channel we're going to have lots more happening here uh not just this let's play as i go through um as i go camping with buster but also we're going to have um thea and i are going to be doing um kind of like an alternate universe um kind of i guess legacy kind of thing happening um where we have uh, Buster and his friend Sky um, exploring the various careers. So it's kind of like the clone challenge, perhaps not quite, um, but yeah, um, it's you know basically not set in stone whether Buster and Sky will be romantic interests. You know, it's kind of they're set as roommates. And depending on how desperate we get, we may or may not use Sky as the spouse. Uh, but, you know what, because it's looking at careers um, and alternate universes, it doesn't really matter. It's more about, I guess, it's more about the journey. Anyway, uh, good to chat to you. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.